Um, I do know a little bit about the Swedish model, guys, and uh, the idea of the woman who was doing the, who was the prostitute being the victim is a good one, I think, and the person who uh, uses her services is the person who's prosecuted. It's not so much the model. The, the blank policy should be we shouldn't have prostitution. Now, if we start with a model that st tries to stamp it out, such as the Swedish one, that's, that's fine, and I think that's a good thing, but it depends on how it is administered as to whether it's useful. At the end of the day, prostitution is a crime against women. It's a blight on our society and we shouldn't have it. I think the other thing that's important to think about, guys, is that we seem, and with the greatest respect to my two colleagues, uh, to my two uh, uh, other challenges, I have to say, I find it hard to accept that we can have a personal view, but then the view that we have to follow with our party. I'm not sure how that works. I think you have to agree with what your party does and says to be a good representative of your party. I know that the Australian Christians have no problem with this and neither do I. Neither do I. You really need to think about what it does to women and families in the greater society. If you come up with a model that works to help stamp it out, to help stop that happening, that's fantastic. And the Swedish model is not bad as long as it actually is done.